Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. This was emailed to me by Brilliant. I have an account with Brilliant and occasionally they send me emails when something new comes up. And I was very happy to get this email. It says find the total length of the zigzagging black line. So there's this black line going like this and it wants to know what is the total length. I haven't seen a problem exactly like this before, so I'm kind of excited. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. Let's focus on these blue triangles right here. All of these blue triangles are similar because they have the same three corresponding angles. And this one has a base of three and a height of two. Whatever the base is for any one of these, the height is always going to be two thirds of that base. And this will be true for all of these blue triangles. And then we can focus on these yellow triangles. This angle is 45 degrees as well. So this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And same thing, they're all going to be similar. They'll all be 45, 45 90 triangles and whatever this side is this side will also be equal to that so let's start finding some of these lengths if this side is two this side will also be two then in this blue triangle this height will be two-thirds of this base and two times two-thirds is four-thirds and then this side equals this side this will also be four-thirds and that pattern is going to continue forever so let's call all these horizontal distances going on forever h sub infinity it's going to be three plus two plus four thirds, the next one would be eight ninths and so on. And there's a pattern for this sum. To get from the first term to the second term, we multiply by two thirds. And then to get from here to here, we multiply by two thirds. And then we can multiply by two thirds again to get eight ninths. And this is gonna continue forever. We're gonna keep multiplying by two thirds. That has a special name for this sum. We call it R for ratio. So the R of this sum is two thirds. And then we can do the same thing for the vertical sum. It'll be two, plus four thirds plus and ends up being eight ninths and ends up being 16 27ths and so on. And the same thing we're multiplying by two thirds each time. So this one also has an R of two thirds. Now there's one other thing that's important about infinite sums. That's the first term, a sub one. The a sub one for this sum is three and the a sub one for this sum is two. Now to evaluate these, we're gonna use the infinite series formula. It says the infinite sum is equal to a sub one divided by one minus r, given that the absolute value of r is less than one. This formula will give you the sum of the infinite terms added up. So let's apply it to each of these. For this one, the first term was three and the r was two thirds. And then for this one, the first term was two and the r was two thirds. Now on the bottom of this one, one minus two thirds is one third, and same thing here, one minus two thirds is one third. This means the same thing as three divided by one third, so let's write it as three divided by one third. And dividing by one third is the same thing as multiplying by three over one. And same thing down here, this is two divided by one third, which we can rewrite like this, and that's the same thing as multiplying by three over one. Three times three over one is equal to nine, and two times three over one is equal to six. So our horizontal sum, all of these added up forever going on to infinity will equal exactly nine. And all these vertical ones added up forever will give us six. So the distance for the total zigzagging black line is 15. This is my answer to the question. Let's put a box around it and highlight it. So after I solved it, I checked the answer with Brilliant and I got it right. But then I was curious, how did they solve it? They did something totally different. They recognized this was a 45, 45, 90 triangle and called both of those X. And they did the same thing. The length is equal to the horizontal distances plus the vertical distances. But their method recognized that all these horizontal distances are the same thing as the base of this larger triangle or X plus three. And then all these vertical distances are the same thing as the height of this triangle or X. Super brilliant. It's a fun method. And then from here you can combine like terms, this becomes two X plus three. Now we have a formula for the total length, let's put a box around it. Then they recognize that this triangle is similar to this triangle because they both have this shared angle and they both have a 90 degree angle which makes the last angle have to be the same. So they made a proportion of the sides. They said the two over three equals X over X plus three. From here, we can cross multiply three times X and two times this. And then this two can distribute to both of these terms, making this side two X plus six. Now we have an X on both sides of the equation. Let's subtract two X from both sides. On the left-hand side, three X minus two X is X. And on the right-hand side, these two two X's cancel each other out. So we end up with X is equal to six. Let's give ourselves a little bit more room and plug in six in for the X. Two times six is 12 and 12 plus three is 15. 
This is the answer to the question, let's highlight it. So either my method or their method gave us a length of 15. How exciting. I really like that there are two solid intuitive ways to solve this problem. I bet you there's even more. If you wanna learn more about all the different kinds of methods you can use, Brilliant has you covered. I've really enjoyed having my Brilliant subscription. This email is just one example of the fun things you can do. You wanna know what I'm excited about next? Let me show you. A hundred days of puzzles. Apparently there's 400 different exercises in this. I am so excited to try all these out. I'm probably gonna get a lot of new video ideas from this. And Brilliant does a lot more than just puzzles. If you wanna learn more about math, science, data analysis, programming, AI, Brilliant has interactive courses on all these topics. To try Brilliant for free, visit brilliant.org slash andymath or scan the QR code on the screen. Or you can click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. How exciting.